is the third. Yeah. I don't think I have any friends. How y'all doing, fuckos? I would like to thank all the people who decided to quit drinking when I did, so instead of my tasty, sad, driven, fucking fake beer, I get to drink black coffee. I quit everything fun in my life. Before I go on, I just want to say how awesome the people I work for. One of them's very sweet, tattooed, will do anything for their employees, flirts with me a lot. So here's the chef Nick. We have a, uh, a developing bromance that's getting out of control. We're starting to buy each other stuff. I made two little ducks of us that overwatch everything. It's weird now I can hear him talking to me. It's not hard, bro. It's not hard, bro. He made his custom fucking apron, so now we're buying clothes for each other. It's okay, though. I got a raise recently, but, you know, like, I got good grip. Never mind, don't worry about that. Everybody have a good Christmas? I don't care. I, I fucking... Christmas depresses me so much, man. I just, I hate seeing how happy everybody is in a world that is just filled with misery. And, uh, I don't know, tis the season. I do, I do, uh, I do want to reach out and help our community. I'm often coming up with ideas to help people. As a fellow homeless person who, uh, who, well, now, now my truck's back in the shop. I spent $1,100 on a transmission. Apparently they didn't do it right. So, uh, now I'm truly homeless without my truck. Kind of makes me sad. I got nowhere to masturbate except for on the corner by 7-Eleven, which nobody has ever called the police on me for that. <laughs> it's weird. It's just like, oh, there's another one, you know? I just find that weird. But I'm always thinking of ways to help. My puppies for the homeless didn't work out because everybody got mad at me because I wanted to feed the fucking homeless to the puppies. And I was thinking, you know, there's, there's, there are people out there that are really homeless and mentally ill uh, that don't do drugs, that deal with it just because they're crazy and our system has completely failed them. And then there's the tweakers out there, which I don't know if you know me, I have a thing against tweakers. I used to be a crackhead. I have an emergency crack kit in the back. There's a thing of baking soda back there and I just said add cocaine and I leave a chore boy next to it. Just in case, you know. But I think if we were allowed, I'm not promoting murdering anybody, but yeah, I am tweakers. You should be able to kill three tweakers a day. I think we don't want to turn into San Francisco, man. We need to be murdering these fools. But we could benefit the people that really need it. Have you seen how cold it is out there? Uh, you know, they're, they're freezing their asses off. So I think if we could just bundle up three dead tweakers a day, and then we could use them as firewood to keep the homeless people warmer. You know, I mean, at a point, they're so dehydrated, you're not going to smell them. I told that to a cop the other day, and he asked for my ID. He wasn't aware that I had been watching nothing but First Amendment videos, so I know exactly next time I get pulled over by a cop or I'm walking and he asks for my ID, I'm going to say something stupid and get my face bashed up against a cop car. We had a, uh, I come out of, wherever it is I come out of, out of the streets we call it, he has risen. Uh, and uh, there was a car parked in our manager spot, which I posted a clever thing that said it says manager parking, not manager parking. Nobody laughed at that, whatever. And uh, they tore it apart the car, and the guy was like, yeah, I had uh, gone and picked up a homeless lady, and I was giving this nice young lady a ride to Fred Myers. Now, he, he had $7,000 cash on him hitting his car, and I'm assuming somewhere between when he picked her up and then asked her for a hand job or whatever he was doing, because you were doing that. Don't fucking lie. You don't pick up people just to be nice, man. Give them a can of soup and tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, and uh, she maced the fuck out of him and stole his car. Now, this is on the really icy day, so the hilarious part is the cops won't pursue you anymore. So, uh, she, uh, she, she stole the fuck out of his car, blew up the tire, and I just came out to what looked like a car bomb had gone off, and then he told me he wasn't going to press charges, to whereas I had to let him know how incredibly fucking stupid he was, and because of people like that is why people like us suffer. And, you know, in the end, we hugged, and I was like, you need to find Jesus, dude. Like, I found Jesus. I found Jesus once, we were talking, kind of a hippie dude, whatever, he smells bad. But he was like, man, I could do cool shit. I could turn water into wine. I was like, cool, man, can you turn baking soda into crack? Because I've been thinking about getting back into drugs again. Also, my boss will not go for my national relapse day. I think it'd be a good idea, close this fucker down and let me get fucked up. But anyway, so Jesus and I are smoking crack. The only problem is when you smoke crack with Jesus, dude just hangs around. 
<laughs> my Christmas joke. I just got the light. I think I got the light. I don't know. I've been stroking out a lot lately. Not like in the fun way you stroke out. Because I got rheumatoid arthritis, so my hands are so weak when I masturbate, it's like a wispy old lady is giving me a hand job. Don't ask me how I know that, but I miss my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give it up for Rot one more time. Doesn't he kind of look like that uh, Japanese girl from The Ring if the well she drowned in was filled with Mountain Dew? Yeah. All right, your next comic, give it up for Jeremy Wise. 